we will discuss a, like brief history uh, about psychopathology and the different models in second uh, unit i think uh, so that we will discuss so uh, if we talk about uh, ancient supernatural belief uh, first thing we have to understand is uh, all the psychological uh, psychology book either it is clinical counseling industrial whatever it is they are they are from the west actually so they are they are they originated usually from uh, europe and uh, america so most of the so you will not get anything related to indian uh, psychology that it, now people are people are started working on that also because our ancient uh, scripture also uh, have uh, that uh, psycho psychology uh, included in that though it is not separate as psychology uh, branch but it is included in our uh, ancient scripture and they talk also talk about all the psychopathology so that is not included uh, in igno also but whenever it is required i will talk about that and the session is, is this class will be like more interactive so whenever you want to in, uh, ask anything you want to cl clarify anything in between you can ask so that uh, we can uh, like discuss and you can switch off your mic uh, uh, if there is some background noise or, and uh, whenever you want to ask any question you can just switch on and, and ask the questions all right so this and we'll discuss main important uh, uh, concepts our focus will be on uh, understanding the concepts and and implementing that and writing in the exams so that you can write uh, in your own word properly in your exams uh, and when you will be able to understand you will write it uh, that thing easily so uh, first thing is uh, like uh, uh, here in this chapter our objective is to understand the what is psychopathology and how it uh, is perceived in different point of time and uh, what are the different approaches biological and psycho psychological approaches to understand the psychopathology right So, so di at different point of time, uh, we uh, like have different kind of understanding about psychopathology. Uh, so, how the what what kind of problems are they, and how we treat them? That depends on our understanding, definitely. So, in ancient time, even in India, you can see uh, like. Um, still we have this kind of system and jo sabse zyada initially tha that was witchcraft and demonology that any kind of human behavior or uh, abnormal behavior actually is caused by demon or um, evil spirit uh, and kind of uh, treatment uh, was entirely uh, different from the present time so it was assumed that individual suffering from mental disorder was supposed to be possessed and controlled by magical evil spirit and demons and pe people uh, who were possessed by these evil spirit or demons uh, and they shows behavior as per uh, the person's uh, like spirit's nature ki us jo bhi jis tarah ke abhi uh, spirit hai or good or evil and accordingly they exhibit that kind of behavior and that behavior is caused by uh, spirits so that was the understanding uh, and the treatment includes like uh, chaining them keeping them in case horrible rituals boring a hole in the skulls like a very inhuman you can say the treatment was there so in that way they treated uh, the uh, patient and if you see in indian context also still we have uh, uh, this kind of uh, not exactly this kind of but most uh, uh, 
we we have this kind of uh, treatment till now in remote areas and there are different uh, religious uh, places where people go and get treated and that kind of thing like uh, uh, what we call it uh, like there are temples there are mazar jinko hum bolte hain uh, that kind of things are still existing uh, in india and in uh, abroad also at different places like churches and all this happens that not at that level ki jahan pe bahut zyada inhuman or uh, problematic kind of things are happening sometime you you get to know that, that these things are happening like uh, tantric and all those kind of things also you can uh, read in the news actually in india so that kind of uh, things over there and then second was second was like moon and stars so according to uh, this uh, and we call uh, abnormality abnormal person as lunatic also because lunar means the um, moon so <coughs> that is a latin word and according to this notion the movement uh, of the moon uh, uh, and stars affect the human behavior and because of that uh, the abnormality occurs or so um, that kind of thinking was there and uh, uh, like position of the stars and hal ha, hello hello mm -hmm. हा वी 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 यस बिकॉज देखो इट इट हैपन्स वेन देर इज साइंटिफिक प्रूफ वी वी कॉल देम साइंस राइट सो देर देर आर एविडेंसेस देर आर एविडेंसेस लाइक इन डिप्रेशन ऑल्सो लाइक नॉट एग्जैक्टली ए मून बट देर इज ए मतलब गुड एविडेंसेस एंड वी डायग्नोज दैट ऑल्सो लाइक सीजनल सीजनल डिप्रेशन और सीजनल मूड डिसऑर्डर because certain like in march and up, i think february and march ke aas pass when uh, when weather changes uh, they relapse so these kind of things are there uh, but in in most of the cases you are not able to find out the uh, scientific proofs so they may ha huh, so maybe they may be true or they may not be true right but it happens and even even in astrology we also believe in that Uh, like in indian culture and our astrologer are also suggest suggesting the same thing like aap ye heera pehan lo ya panna pehno hai stones and they are ha ha the calm your nervous system or aapka gussa kam ho jayega all those kind of thing or tarakki milegi so uh, uh, that, that is also based on the moon thing because we follow in our astrology we follow moon uh, like uh, the moon sign we call it na astrology mein हाँ हाँ इन वेस्ट वेस्ट एंड दे फॉलो द सन साइन सो है ना सो दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स इज मतलब स्टिल एग्जिस्टिंग बट दे आर दे दे आर लाइक दैट टाइम मेनली दे आर फोकस ऑन दैट ओनली सो सो दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग एंड देन देन द थर्ड वन इज मास हिस्टीरिया एंड इट इज ए फिनामिना इन विच द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ एन इमोशन सीम्स टू स्प्रेड to those uh, in the surrounding one minute so it is a phenomena in which the experience of an emotion seems to spread to those in surrounding around uh, and if you if an individual is frightened and sad this feeling and experience spread to nearby people soon this feeling further escalates develop into a panic and he, the whole community is affected uh, so this was kind of again uh, uh, you can say uh, kind of some kind of supernatural thing but the mass hysteria term mass mass hysteria is a different thing 
uh, and it has been like seen in many times in history ki there are number of uh, people and uh, they they live in the same community they believe in the same thing and they believe uh, and sometime they are doing like there are there are like real incidences where number of people done suicide together so so that that is that we call mass hysteria so ek sath unka jo sochne ka tarika hai all those things are similar and they commit suicide and all those things so that happens so uh, according to mass hysteria if someone has like depression uh, that is spread to others also in the community uh, the people who are living there so th that was the that uh, uh, model uh, so and uh, they consider mental disorder in the same way ki that it spreads from one people to other people okay so this sorry then we'll come to the uh, this biological model biological model is but at as name suggests biological model is like we try to find out the biological reason behind mental disorders just like uh, any other disease suppose uh, present day is like in uh, present days ek minute hold kar lijiye ankit main abhi class mein hu beta baad mein 8 baje ke baad baat karunga theek hai okay to like every problem or disease or disorder they have biological reasons like if you have malaria so there must be some some bacteria or virus or if you have now presently if you can see like if you have a fever and everything and you uh, mm, mm, uh, like you you go for testing and a specific virus is found then only you will be uh, like diagnosed as if uh, corona positive or something like that so there is some reason biological reason is there and that is what we call biological model so the greek physician hippocrates a ridiculed demonological accounts demonological accounts means as spirit and all of illness and insanity In, instead hippocrates hypothesized that abnormal behavior like other forms of the disease had natural causes natural causes like biological causes health depend on the maintaining natural balance within the body specifically a balance of four fluids ye yaad rakhna hai this is very important that count that can come into your exams that is uh, he has given uh, four fluids that is blood phlegm black bile and yellow bile and according to hippocrates agar inka disbalance hota hai ek cheez zyada hoti hai kam hota hai then only you then you get uh, abnormality uh, in your behavior so hippocrates perspective dominate medical thought in western countries until the middle of the 19th century तो काफी दिन तक ये रहा एंड ट्रीटमेंट ट्रीटमेंट इज लाइक कि यू हैव टू बैलेंस ऑल दीज फोर फ्लूड एंड पीपल ट्रेन्ड इन द हिपोक्रेटिक ट्रेडिशन विव डिसीज एस यूनिटरी कॉन्सेप्ट यूनिटरी कॉन्सेप्ट में सी कि ओनली दीज फोर जो आपके फ्लूड्स हैं दे शुड बी इन नेचुरल उसमें एक बैलेंस में होना चाहिए इफ दे आर नॉट इन ए बैलेंस देन देर मे बी ए प्रॉब्लम so all problems were considered to be result of uh, of an imbalance of body fluids and treatment procedure were designed to attempt to restore the ideal balance ki inke beech ka jo ideal balance hai wo maintain agar hum kar denge to jo abnormality hai wo khatam ho jayegi aur wo theek ho jayega patient so and there was another person that is galen of roman physician adopted hippocratic so he adopted the hippocratic theory Uh, and advocated that four fluids lead to the greek environmental concepts such as blood and uh, heat means matlab unhone relate kar diya hai heat dryness moisture and cold 
सो उन्होंने इन तीनों को हीट इज ब्लड एंड ड्राइनेस इज ब्लैक बॉयल मॉइस्चर इज येलो बॉयल एंड द कोल्ड इज फेलकम सो ईच फ्लूड वॉज रिलेटेड टू वन क्वालिटी एंड एक्सेस ऑफ वन और मोर फ्लूड्स वो ट्रीटेड बाई रेगुलेटिंग द इन्वायरमेंट इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज हीट ड्राइनेस मॉइस्चर कोल्ड डिपेंडिंग ऑन द डिफिशियंसी ऑफ द फ्लूड तो जो भी डिफिशियंसी होती है अकॉर्डिंगली आप हीट और ड्राइनेस और मॉइस्चर उसकी क्वान्टिटी को आप बढ़ा देते हैं इन्वायरमेंट में एंड दिस इज द वे टू ट्रीट द क्लाइंट पेशेंट सो अर्ली बायोलॉजिकल मॉडल ऑफ मेंटल डिसऑर्डर यूज सम यूनिक टेक्निक्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट वन ऑफ दोज वॉज ब्लड लेटिंग यानी कि अगर एक अगर किसी को जो हीट या किसी जो हम बात कर रहे हैं या सर्टेन जो प्रॉब्लम है उसमें अगर उनको लगता है कि दैट ब्लड इज इन एक्सेस सो एक लिमिटेड अमाउंट में ब्लड को निकाल दिया जाता है एंड ये माना जाता है कि उससे ट्रीटमेंट हो जाएगा सो और वो पर्सन ठीक हो जाएगा तो अर्ली बायोलॉजिकल मॉडल एग्जाम्पल इज गिवेन हियर सम यूनिक टेक्निक ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट वन ऑफ दिस वॉज ब्लड लेटिंग ए टेक्निक वेर ए मेजर्ड अमाउंट ऑफ ब्लड वॉज रिमूव्ड बाय लीचेस टू मिनिमाइज एग्रेसिव टेंडेंसीज एंड इंक्लूडिंग वोमिटिंग वॉज यूज टू रिड्यूज डिप्रेशन एंड द डायग्नोज पर्सन वॉज फोर्स टू ईट टोबैको एंड हाफ बॉइल्ड कैबेस फॉर वोमिटिंग सो दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट वॉज प्रिवलेंट इन दोज टाइम क्लियर एनी क्वेश्चन ठीक है नेक्स्ट देन विल कम टू नाइनटीन सेंचुरी जेपी ग्रे एंड द ई क्रेपलिन दिस इज द टाइम लाइक दिस इज यू कैन से दिस इज अव प्रेजेंट डे में हम लोग डायग्नोसिस एवरीथिंग वी आर यूजिंग so that is start with like basically crepelin is like very famous for schizophrenia and all so he has given the different uh, types of schizophrenia so jp gray theorized that mental disorder or insanity was always due to physical causes uh, physical reasons ki wajah se hote hain and emphasis should be on rest and diet or uh, rest or diet pe agar hum focus karte hain प्रॉपर रूम टेम्परेचर और वेंटिलेशन पे फोकस करते हैं देन दे वी कैन ट्रीट दैम एंड ही इन्वेंटेड रोटरी रोटरी फैन एंड यूज इन स्टेट हॉस्पिटल इन न्यूयॉर्क सो दैट टेम्परेचर और मॉइस्चर ऑल दो थिंग्स कैन बी कंट्रोल्ड एम एल कैप्लिन कंट्रीब्यूटेड इन द एरिया डायग्नोसिस एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ साइकोलॉजिकल डिसऑर्डर्स और इनका जो सिस्टम था वो यूज किया गया अभी भी लाइक ही वॉज कंसिडर ए पर्सन जिनको आज की डायग्नोसिस में भी इनके टर्म्स यूज होते हैं ई साइकोलॉजिकल डिसऑर्डर हैड डिफरेंट एज ऑफ ऑनसेट टाइम कोर्स एंड फॉलो टू फॉलो एंड अलॉन्ग विद डिफरेंट क्लस्टर ऑफ प्रेजेंटिंग सिमटम्स दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज दैट इज स्टिल इन यूज लाइक ई साइकोलॉजिकल हैड ए डिफरेंट एज ऑफ ऑनसेट लाइक डिप्रेशन स्टार्ट अराउंड लाइक आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू रफ नंबर्स Around like 16, 17, 18, if you if you have a hereditary vulnerability, and uh, time course means like if you have a depression, so it may take time. If you if it is not treated, then it will be long. Uh, it will go long way, and it may be for entire life. And schizophrenia is like is starting from 16, 17, then again it is uh, it, the symptoms will increase positive. Sem uh, positive symptoms will be there. Positive symptoms we call like hallucination and delusions. They are positive or aggressiveness. They are the positive symptoms and negative symptoms is like depressive, sadness, and everything that also happens in the schizophrenia or not responding to the emotions. That all those things are negative symptoms. So initially we see the course to follow means like there is a course that 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 in that in uh, runs over the period of time. so all these things are are kind of uh, every disorder has a course and uh, age of onset and there is a cluster of the presenting symptoms like there there is a cluster if you if you are calling someone schizophrenic or depressive so there must be like three four uh, things like if you are saying someone is a depressed so they must have the sadness of mood decrease motor activity hopelessness helplessness and worthlessness kind of features they must have uh, so that kind of uh, classification uh, he has uh, given and that is still in use in a different format 
तो ही डिस्क्राइब जोफिन एज ए साइकोटिक डिसऑर्डर हैविंग इलेवन सब टाइप्स वेयर रियलिटी कॉन्टेक्ट वॉज सीवियरली लॉस्ट एंड विद डिल्यूजन फॉल्स बिलीफ एंड हेलिजोनेशन सो दीज Uh, the, these are the things he has given, and they are still in use. Not in, in exact that form, but yes, it is. It it is uh, used by different classification classification systems uh, like uh, ICD and DSM, right? Then twentieth uh, century is insulin shock therapy and electroconvulsive therapy. So, ab isme kya hua? Um, कि इन 1927 मैनफ्रेड सेकेल ए वियनीस फिजिशियन बिगेन यूजिंग हायर डोज होता क्या है कि ही हैज लाइक ऑब्जर्व दैट जो इंसुलिन है जो डायबिटिक पेशेंट है इफ यू इफ और जो लाइक मेंटल डिसऑर्डर वाले पेशेंट्स हैं अगर इंसुलिन ज्यादा देते हैं तो उनको कन्वर्जन आते हैं दौरे पड़ते हैं फिट्स आते हैं सो एंड दे वे वो चले जाते हैं कोमा में एंड एंड कोमा के बाद ये देखा गया कि वो लोग उनके जो जो सिम्टम्स थे वो रिकवर हो गए सो दैट थिंग व्हेन दे ऑब्जर्व एंड दे यूज इट दे स्टार्टेड यूजिंग फ्रीक्वेंटली बट बट दिस मेथड वाज वेरी डेंजरस अगर कोई कोमा में चला गया है उसकी डेथ भी हो सकती है तो इट वॉज स्टॉप देन एंड बट इट वॉज लाइक यूजफुल सो जोसेफ मैदोना In 1920, also the schizophrenia was rarely found in epileptic. बाद में ऐसा नहीं हुआ कि schizophrenia epileptic साथ साथ भी होते हैं but uh, uh, chances ये देखा गया कि कम होता है तो uh, उन्होंने क्या किया From there, like from insulin to this thing, uh, this observation, they have started what we call it uh, electroconvulsive therapy (ECT), जिसको हम shock therapy भी बोलते हैं जिसमें इलेक्ट्रिक सॉक्स देते हैं पेशेंट्स को नाउ मॉडुलेटेड एक लोग क्या कहते हैं इलेक्ट्रोकन्वर्सिव थेरेपी है जहां पे बहुत ही सेफ्टी के साथ में हम ईसीटी uh, करते हैं बट दैट इज ए लास्ट रिजॉर्ट लास्ट रिजॉर्ट टू द ट्रीटमेंट व्हेन पीपल डोंट रिस्पॉन्ड टू मेडिकेशन देन ओनली वी गो फॉर ई इट इज ऑल्सो यूज मतलब प्रेजेंटली वी यूज दैट बट इन ए वेरी कंट्रोल्ड वे and very uh, safer way as well as uh, like जब कोई कुछ नहीं काम करता है then we'll go for that go for that and suicidal patients and depressive patients it works